So I think I have the rear apron as good as it's going to get until I can get uh, some sheet metal for the, the supports there that have the, the bumper uh, mounts on them. Um, so I'm going to pull the fuel tank in the front and start cleaning up the dashboard and trying to plan how to fix that. Where's the hole? This side? Is that the... Yep, yeah, there. The big goddamn hole up there. So pulling the tank out and assessing the situation. Tank's out. I'm gonna do some vacuuming in here. But I think this is gonna be pretty straightforward. My clip goes up to here. So I gotta figure out the cleanest way to get this panel out of here. Got a little bit of ripping up here. I mean, it is folded in, I think, from where it's gotten to an accident. It definitely got hit hard, and the beam is bent here, so I think uh, uh, I gotta I gotta probably take some measurements off of Rachel's 59 and like see my distances and all that. And as long as everything from here to here is consistent, like between this car and hers. I'll probably do this now since I've got the sheet metal. I'm waiting. I need I need bits before I can do this part because I need the sides, the back of the tire well, and the apron. And I don't want to remove any of that until it's good. So um, I guess at a minimum I can pull all of that shit out of there and get ready to f*** this up somehow. So it's, it's day something. I don't even know. Um... I'm still in the process of stripping all of that out so that I can figure out how to do this. Um, and honestly, I'm going to change cameras now. Down here is so bad. And all these extra holes drilled in and everything. Honestly, and like all the way down to down in this bit here is so bad. Honestly... Kind of, kind of just want to replace the whole dash. Because, like, this is all solid. I've got, like, two, the like, two stupid little holes right here to patch. But, like, aside from that, this is way better. So, I'm going to strip, I'm going to strip that um, and probably pull the column out. And then, uh, maybe the glass, too, and the wipers and see how much of a pain in the ass it's going to be to do that because it's just another thing I've never done before so that's what we're doing so I'm really bad at losing parts so I stripped the dash and put everything or at least the stuff that I wanted to keep on this one um, I actually really like that color combo it looks pretty good uh, so now I've pretty much got this to the point where I gotta start taking some measurements. I still gotta pull the steering column out. I'm gonna leave whatever switches are over there, over there. Um, but I'm gonna make some measurements um, in this area on Rachel's car, um, just to make sure that all this is still square, everything is where it needs to be. And then uh, once I know that, I can start kind of start planning uh, how exactly I wanna cut this out and whether or not I need to like brace um, I think I'll be okay because the firewall is going to stay in the same spot. I might put something between the door pillars. I'm not sure yet, um, but I got to I gotta make some measurements here and, and see how good all this is because, as you know, it got pretty good in the front. So we'll uh, measure this up and see what happens. So I measured this, this gap here just to see how bad everything was pushed up. And honestly, it's... It's mine's pretty consistent all the way across. Hers is pretty consistent all the way across, and comparatively, they're both pretty consistent. It's about 12 and a half uh, inches from from there to there. So I think I think all this, aside from like my spare tire, this like area is, um, I think all of this is fine. Um, so I'm gonna pull the column. Um, I'm sure getting that shaft out of there is gonna be a ton of fun. Um, once I do that, I'm going to start cleaning up the edges and see if there are spot welds that I can drill. Um, and then I need to figure out how I'm going to get all this in because, like, I'd really like to do it in one in one piece so I don't have to seam everything. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start getting that thing out of here. All right, column's out, fire was used. I was looking at this some more. Fuck off. Um, and I noticed the crunching here in the corners. So I measured from here to uh, the, you know, the furthest out point of the cowl on this compared to uh, my clip. And this distance on my car is about a quarter of an inch narrower. Um, and I'm, I'm willing to bet it's just because the whole car is pushed back. I'm hoping that that's negligible. I know it probably isn't, but I'm gonna hope anyway. Uh, so next step is glass. I'm gonna cut that out of there and see how that channel looks. And then I'm gonna start trying to figure out how exactly I'm gonna get this out in one unit so that I can get the other one out in one unit. <laughs> you haven't done this in a bit, so I don't know if I'm doing it right. That. All right, well, I mean, all this doesn't look too, too bad. I'm going to uh, clean this up with a wire brush and see what happens, but I should be able to drill I'm hoping that there's going to be spot welds in here that I can drill and then uh, maybe I can find a good place to cut uh, like down this way maybe at an angle who knows because I got to get at least down to here you know I'd like to go all the way down but I don't think this one's any better All right, let's clean this up and see what happens. I'm just noticing this seam across the inside that like separates the dash from the trunk. So that'll make it a little bit easier, honestly. Um, I'll probably end up having to cut these pieces out as one and then separating the two individually um, on, uh, on a bench or something. Um, but that'll make it a lot easier to put back in. Um, so I guess I'll practice the cutting on my car because everything's already f***ed anyway. Um, so I'm not sure how I want to do that. There should be, because there's a seam there too, there should be uh, spot welds along that. And then, because there's a seam there. All right, I got a lot of cleaning to do to see uh, where things are and how they end. So back to wire wheeling, but... This actually looks really good, so that's nice. This is currently, this is currently plan A, because this pillar is pretty good, and everything on this side is not bad, but that side is very bad. So there's another seam down here that follows the curve of the tire well, and is a separate uh, section of the trunk and all that. Shit. So, and I've got all of this on the other, on the other uh, clip. So I think on this side, I'm gonna cut kind of inside the white line to give myself, you know, some room. I gotta figure out how to detach everything up here um, and how to, how to separate all this. But I don't think I'm gonna go much beyond this. Whereas the other side, I think I'm gonna clean all of this up and find the spot welds on the tire well and along this side here and do uh, the entire pillar with the dashboard um, and probably some some of the inner inner well there. Um, and then I'll put the, the trunk pan in uh, from the back. Uh, or maybe I'll put the trunk pan in first and then uh, and then put this in underneath it so that I can slide it and have that room. but that's what I'm thinking so far and that's plan a I gotta I gotta like keep thinking about that because I'm not 100% sure um, so I think in the meantime I'm going to attempt to pull the doors oh god oh god oh how the fuck am I gonna do this all right 
clearing, uh, just added, skinning the paint back, looking for spot welds and everything. I'm gonna start kinda cutting some of the dead metal out of here just so I have a little bit more room to work, but I'm gonna start exposing all of that over there so that I can, you know, figure out what space I have to work with uh, in using this as like the practice cut so that I know what to expect when I start cutting that one. So I'm gonna cut, you know, a little bit more from over here and some out from this side um, just to get uh, some space to get uh, under the dash and, and start cleaning that up to find the spot welds I need to break and don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, big goddamn hole now. Um, I'm gonna spend some time trying to drill some of these spot welds out and figure out where all this metal goes. And then uh, uh, maybe spend some time up here too, but I wanna try to get these corner bits out and see what happens. Got all that out. I started splitting up here, but I can't see half the spot welds anyway, and it's taken forever. I think I'm gonna uh, use a cutoff wheel and follow this inside line all the way down to cut that, because um, I'm gonna end up kind of doing that. Uh. on this anyway because this is so rotted in here so we'll probably on this one I'll cut on the inside line all the way down um, I might have to make another lip to go across this but I think that's what I'm going to have to do um, as I'm afraid I'm fucking this up a lot by um I'm, I'm afraid I'm f***ing this side up a lot by doing what I'm doing, so before I do the whole goddamn thing, I think I'm just going to zip right down that and see what happens. Yeah, I think that's enough of that. Still got some bits over there that I got to cut out, but for the most part, it's out. Oh, God. Hmm. Hmm. The harvest begins. I'm gonna be pulling the trunk pan out first, um, because that'll uh, that'll be a little bit easier and it'll help me kind of understand where I need to cut the dash. So, drilling spot welds along this edge. Then I think I'm gonna cut it over here. I might I might try to do the spot welds on this side too, but I think on the on the sides, the wheel well sides, I'm gonna uh, just cut above the uh, the flange. So that's where we're at now. Oh, big gaping holes to fill. Trunk pan's out. All right, well, I wanted to try to leave these pieces in but I don't think I'll be able to get it like in and out of the car easily for fitting with it in so now I got to separate those but once I separate that I can start smoothing this back out and grinding that flat and doing the same on that side and up the top there and I can start trying to fit this piece in and then I'll have to fix those two those two little holes there working on that now uh i genuinely don't know if i like skip steps here in terms of what i filmed and what i have and so i've separated that and now i can start the dry fitting uh i'm just kind of smoothing all the edges out and everything and trying to make it as factory as possible so that it'll it'll fit in here pretty easy i am gonna have to start like cleaning all of this up and kind of doing the same thing so that you know both mating surfaces are good but i'm starting with that because it's out of the car and less of a pain in the ass. All right, well, so far so good. It's looking pretty, pretty good all the way around. Obviously it needs to be like clamped and flattened and 
uh, tacked into place and everything. I've got two. I'm gonna these areas up here. I'm gonna strip the paint off of there so that when it's ready to get welded, um, I won't have to do it in the car. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna start trying to kind of line it up. I'm not gonna do a full weld until I have the dash in. So, oh, I still gotta I still gotta replace this big honking fucking hole over here. Um, all right, I'll probably do that first. But once I once I have that done, I'm gonna tack it in uh, here, got a couple places across the firewall, and then maybe two or three spots on the fenders, and then leave it. Might not even even do the fenders because I need this to be able to move up and down uh, for when I cut the dash out because I want I want it to go back in the way it did from the factory. So the dash is going to slip in underneath this, and then I'll weld from the back um, and, uh, and hope that stays. So, a little bit at a time. Oh no, it came off again, didn't it? Did it? No, it didn't. Okay. Uh, real quick, uh, in case any of you are wondering why I don't show, uh, or why I haven't been showing any of my metal work in this particular episode, uh, it's because I'm at it and you really should not be doing uh, any of the things that I've been doing. There are much better uh, channels on YouTube to watch uh, people do metal work. Um, I don't, I'm not familiar with the channel myself, but Ben uh, really likes uh, this guy. I think he's just called him Fitzy. So I'd look for him. Um, I've, uh, I've been watching a lot of Mike FN's stuff. Um, so, I mean, there's there's much better people out there than my silly ass, because all I'm really doing is filling holes, and really, any moron with a welder can do it. I'm not doing, like, show quality stuff, or, like, uh, even structurally sound stuff. I am just filling holes so that water doesn't come in and even then most of the time it still does. But if you really want to see my shitty metal work, say so in the comments. Leave a comment. Leave a comment and tell me that you want to see more metal work so I can ignore you and not do it anyway. Case in point, don't look at the shit I do. Well, now that I've done a shitty job fixing that, I'm going to tack this thing in. Maybe just a couple up here. Um, and maybe, maybe uh, one or two over here. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that's in the right place. Alright, I managed to get this kind of tacked in a bit. Um, I don't want to do much more than this until I get the, uh, the dash ready to go in because I need this to be able to move up and down like that so that I can sneak the, the dash underneath it. So um, I gotta do some seam sealing on this thing and then once I'm done with that and I can roll it outside I'm going to start pulling the dash out of that so that uh, I can start plugging it in all right it's time to harvest the dash um, I don't know if these are the right lines but it's gonna have to work because there are these support rails back here that are welded into the face in some spots and they're really hard to Locate spot welds on, so it's gonna it's gonna look like shit, but whatever. The dash will go in, hopefully. I hope. Oh god. Well, I did that side okay. A little bit of a hole to fill over there, but for the most part, it's a pretty good fit. Um, I've got to clean up. The lip that the window sits in on both sides, so kind of leftover metal and whatnot. So 
I've got to do that and then I can uh, start focusing on the other parts that I gotta clean up and fit and yada 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 getting there looks pretty good I like the uh, I like the color combo the green and the orange is interesting I've got this cleaned up pretty good best as I can anyway I've got all this straightened out here I got the leftover lip on that gone it's probably gonna be some sections that I've got to repair but it's pretty good I put a little rust reform up there because I was starting to go so now I've pretty much got to do the same thing on this side in the car and start stripping all of whatever was left here off of so that there's only two pieces of metal and trying to fit everything so I'm gonna push the car in a little bit more and and continue doing that for a little bit more tonight and then carry on tomorrow all right test fit <clears throat> our second test fit I got that whole channel kind of cleaned up and lined up big hole I've got a patch on that side a little more metal I've got to cut down here gonna make that gap neat um, you know the, all, of, all of this down here is still pretty, still pretty loose so I got plenty to play with there and I got a little bit of a line I've got to make here uh, to cut and uh, smooth that out some but aside from that it's uh, it's almost in oh what a pain in the ass I didn't want to see, yeah, I didn't want to start recording mid-sentence, you tit. No, it's, like it's also not shouting. So yeah, we can pretty much cut that out. I mean, we can actually use the shape as it exists to form the metal in yeah. and then put the patch on. Um, we can't get to the back of it, otherwise we'd be able to just put it on and sort of push the old metal in, take it out from the back. But yeah, we can do a nice little template there. And then this is pretty straightforward all the way along. And mm -hmm. that's actually really, fairly solid. So that's not bad. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, the other side's worse. <laughs> Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. Is it? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. A little bit. It doesn't have to pillow damage, but it does have to, you know, just a little bit along here. Yeah. Well, the other side of the pillar is on my side. On the top, yeah. Yeah. It's oh, fine. Good. All right. um, yeah, but the amount of work you've already done. Is just... <laughs> yeah, shit. <sure. laughs> well, while he's doing that, I, uh, I'm i slowly getting the, the dash welded in kind of one little bit at a time. I gotta keep following this down here and then uh, tacky tacky cutty cutty. You're gonna be welding? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, we're both gonna be throwing around the shop. What? I don't know. <laughs> I like it when you look at the camera like a lost rabbit. <laughs> Deer in the headlights. Yeah. Trying to get some of this metal off. Normally, I wouldn't be using a chisel because it f***s the chisels. I would be using like a sharpened pussy knife or I something. I bought those for you and you never used them. I... <laughs> I did use them. Have you seen how blunt this thing is? Yeah, this is... This is not... That's, how I, that's how I separated my dashboard. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got, I got real f***ing tired of drilling spot welds. Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to put, uh, I wanted to punch holes in this before I put the dash in, so that I could weld it through. It's a bit late now. Yeah. Well, you can still punch holes in it. Just do both. Of them. Yeah. You will punch holes in both of those. Oh, I know. And then rotate well, or whatever. Yeah, happens. probably something. Oh yeah. God. So it's the next morning, um, or or some morning after. I don't even remember what I filmed at this point, but you'll notice that there's a. Come on, why am I so bad at this? You'll notice that there's a, a chair in the oval, and that's because I've got the dash mostly in. I've got the sides welded up. I'm gonna start welding the seam up here and doing the uh, the um, spot welds along the bottom. I made sure the column's straight and that everything's like positioned good, and, and I'm happy with it. So there's 
little bit more to do and then that's done and I can move on to the next mindless thing so that's where we're at so far um, it's gonna be a lot of grinding but oh I'm ready for it to be done all right this is as good as that's gonna get because I forgot to punch holes in the flange so now I've got Try to smooth the rest of this down, get the rest of the tacks in, and then I can start grinding. All right, we've got a lot of welds done up here and tucked in there and all those guys done. I think I'm gonna leave this undone until I get this piece in off the clip because I might need to move this kind of in and out to maneuver that, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that. I guess uh, I'm going to do a couple more welds, kind of like, you know, up here. Um, and, uh, and make sure all that's good. And then uh, start grinding, grinding stuff back, I guess. All right. Is that better? Or is this better? I think that's better. Did some grinding. It's almost seamless, except for the parts where it isn't. All the way down there to the inside as well. I'm gonna do the spot welds underneath and those lines. I got a little bit more welding to do on that side, but better to the and I've got a little bit more welding to do up there too. But I'm hoping once I get this kind of sorted out, um, I might actually try putting a passenger door on and see how that goes. I gotta assemble one, but I want to try to put a passenger door on and then maybe. Uh, if I can find a seal, and when I have any money, we can uh, try to put the glass in, maybe. All right, well, kind of got a door on a little bit. I, uh, I, gotta, I gotta steal some parts off of several other doors first before I can make this one latch, so that's what I'm doing now, robbing stuff out of that. I'm probably gonna end up having to take stuff out of the orange doors. Uh, that originally came off of this car because uh, this is missing a lot of parts. So that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> Good enough for me. I'm really bad with outros. Dash is uh, just about done. I've got the pillar done. I think that's going to end up being part of a different video. Um, but, uh, it's in, I've got the doors on, they open and close pretty good. The passenger side's a lot better than the driver's side. Um, and I, uh, started doing that, which is also going to be an upcoming, uh, upcoming video. Um, so thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Share with your friends. We appreciate it. It helps us out a lot and see you at the next one.